Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Kilo, and no, we are not taking a look at fun today. We are not taking a look at Old Fogey, nor are we taking a look at Ultimate Cypher, as crazy as this module is. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Module Maneuvers. And the reason why I have a bunch of uh, a series of different modules up is because of the fact that this is going to be the way that we're going to figure things out. Um, this module is basically, it's a bit of organization at the beginning, except you can kind of optimize the way that you want to do things. Um, there is a catch to the way that this module works, and what we need to do is we need to go over this. So, the left and right displays will display X and Y coordinates on a, uh, of a point on a coordinate plane. This is the goal position. So our goal position that we need to get to is negative 3 and 0. And the way that the X, Y uh, coordinates work is simply just the way that they work normally. Um, X represents left and right, left being negative, right being positive, Yankee represents the uh, up and down coordinates, up being positive, down being negative. Uh, and what we're going to essentially be doing here is we're going to be starting at, at zero, 0, you will begin a coordinate zero, 0, of this plane, and to solve the module, solve other modules so that you are on the same coordinate as the goal, then press the center button. Really simple enough. Now, the way that we have to solve modules is going to be a bit interesting, uh, and it's going to be determined based off of the shapes of the different arrows in the directions that they're pointing. So, if we take a look at our goal point, we want to get to negative 3 and 0. So we're going to be pretty much focusing on the left side. We need to focus on getting left three times. So, but let's take a look and see what conditions we have uh, on the other buttons, because we might have to avoid some of them. So we have uh, this one contains no spaces for the left one. Um, we have uh, this one right here contains less than two vowels. Uh, we have this one right here uh, starts with the letter B, J, K, P, Q, V, X, or Z. Sort of rarer letters that you wouldn't see all that often. And finally, um, it'll be contains a character that is not in letter or white space. This refers to uh, numbers or special characters that you would see, for example, for set gray, 1D chess, yeah, etc., etc. So these are going to be the four conditions that we're going to be working with here. And what our goal is, is that we want to try and apply these rules. Um, and we want to solve modules that apply to these rules so we can move uh, in the specific directions that we need to. So, when not ignore module is solved, you may move in the grid based on the name. Note that when not ignore module is solved, the center button will, will reverse direction. Uh, it does this. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you don't really need to pay attention to this. This is just a small detail. Um, so in this case, just to make sure that you have a need solved the module, it will spin the opposite direction each individual solve. Uh, for each arrow button, if its corresponding condition fits the module name, you will move in that direction. Now, if multiple arrows have their conditions met, move in both directions at once. So, this can obviously apply for more than one arrow, too. So this can be, for example, if we happen to have up, right, and left apply for some reason, um, this would cancel out left and right, and it would only be moving up. However, it was, if it was up, right, you would simply move in both directions at the exact same time. Starting from 0, 0, up, right would be 1, 1, because you're moving up in the, y, in the y position, and you're moving right in the x position. So that's going to be the way that things work. It's very important to make sure that you check for other conditions because of the fact that others might apply if you solve one specific mod, um, and it might not help you. It might not be good for you, so that's what we're going to be paying attention to. So, let's get into this mod, let's see what we can do here, and let's see what we actually need to do to solve this mod here. So, um, and, if, and in the case where you happen to actually run out of solves to actually do, and you don't reach your goal position, uh, if all non-ignored modules are solved and the module has not yet solved, the arrow buttons will become interactable. Currently at this state, they are not interactable because of the fact that they are going to be referring to other solved modules. Um, you may use the, manu you may use the manuals, uh, arrow arrows manually to move around the grid, but every second movement will cause a strike. So, if you were to move, for example, right only once, that wouldn't cause a strike, but if you were to move right again, that would be where the strike comes in. Uh, if you were to move up, up, for example, that would be another strike, and yada yada, so on and so forth. Obviously, I'm trying to teach you guys not to run into this case, um, but in the, sta in the state, uh, in the state, if the button is held for longer than one second, the module will enter stage recall mode. Uh, and obviously, you want to avoid this as much as possible, too. Pressing the arrow buttons will modify the stage uh, being accessed, and uh, being, uh, mod will modify the stage being accessed displayed on the right screen. Uh, and press the center button to make the arrows uh, flash their corresponding movements for the displayed stage in the following two stages. Then it will encourage strike. So that's why you want to avoid this. It will give you the, um, the solves that you had previously uh, for a couple stages. Um, but it does give you a strike, so it's obviously that it's obvious that you want to avoid um, that case coming up across. Now I do have logging here with me. Uh, in this case, just to help me get through this stuff. I don't really want to solve um, multi-tracking at the moment. Um, so let's get through this. So now our goal here is we're trying to go to the left. We need to go to the left three times to get to the negative three zero. We don't need to move up or down at all. And what we need to do this is we need to do a modules that contain no spaces at all, because that's the one that corresponds to the left arrow. But also we need to avoid this this rule 
B, J, K, P, Q, V, X, or Z. Uh, we need to make sure we avoid the case of containing less than two vowels, and we need to uh, avoid the case where it is special characters. So that's what we're going to be working with here. And what we can do is we can start planning things out. We can take a look at what modules we have on the bomb here, uh, and we can avoid a couple things. Now we want to avoid anything that starts with B, J, K, P, Q, V, or X, or Z. And one of the things that I can immediately realize here is we have Paragua, we've got Password Generator, um, we have, what else do we have on here? We're going to avoid breakfast egg. Uh, we can potentially do colored letters, but that's not what we want. We need to contain snow spaces. Um, we can actually do logging if we wanted to. Logging would actually work as an answer here because of the fact that if we take a look at the name, logging itself has exactly two vowels. It needs less than two vowels for this rule to apply. There are no special characters in it, and it does not contain no spaces, which is exactly what we want. And it does not start with one of these letters. So this would be perfect to solve. So let's do this. <laughs> Now, with this in mind, we have currently moved left, and as you can see, this the uh, the center button is spinning in the opposite direction now. We're now at negative one zero, so we're already uh, a, uh, a third of the way there. Now, let's take a look and see what else we can do potentially. Uh, we could potentially do maintenance. Maintenance would work here, because if we take a look here, uh, maintenance has no spaces, which is exactly what we need. It obviously has more than two. It obviously has two or more vowels. It doesn't have any special characters, and it doesn't start with one of the letters in this list here. So in this case, maintenance would actually be an option here. Um, and taking a look around at the rest of the bomb here, um, it might be one of these blank modules that we need to pay attention to. Uh, mistake. Apparently that's supposed to be the mistake. Um, or a mistake, rather. Um, but let's do maintenance. And we actually might have to do multi-tracking here. Um, so let's take a look. So we need to uh, do what? Uh, good news, your car is not a write-off. Uh, we need to do brake. Brake fluid change, wiper replacement, windscreen replacement. Okay, that's easy. Uh, so brake, brake fluid change, um, wiper replacement, windscreen replacement. Wiper, windscreen. What was the last one? One tire. Yep. Okay. Now with that solved, we've currently moved to the left again. So this is going to be at negative two zero. So let's solve one more module, and I believe the only actual, uh, the only other mod that we can actually solve just from the logging, from looking at it, um, is going to be multi-tracking actually, because of the fact that if we take a look at Paragua, Paragua has no spaces, but it is indeed going to fall into this case of BJKP, uh, Q, V, X, or Z. It does indeed start with a P, so in this case that would not work for us. So this is going to be forced to have uh, us do uh, multi-tracking in this instance. So that's going to be very important in front of it down. Um, so multi-tracking is going to be our answer. Uh, so invalid timer is going to be two, so we can do this at three. Um, two zero. Okay, two zero seven. That's nice and easy. Okay. Um, if I can get back to logging, please, that would be nice. Um, two seven zero eight. Work. Uh, nine. Okay. I, I will do six again. Uh, okay, that's the one. We can do zero. Nice. Nope, guess I guess we can't. Not the answer that's a lie. <laughs> um, uh, we can do this on another six case again. So that's going to be six. Um, and then adding the three. So one, two, three. So we can do four, five, six. Okay. Uh, the animal that ate the food was the fox. Okay, so let's actually go to multi-tracking here. Um, and I actually need to navigate around here, so we need to go to the fox. Where is that at? Right there. Okay, and we're currently at... Um, oh, nice! We're at the ferret. Okay, so that's quite that's quite easy. So all we need to do is go right once. So, um, greater than four, so we can do it on six. Or, or rather, we need to click on an invalid time, so we can do it on nine. Um, we need to just shift one to the right. It's nine. It's at that position of Fox, and now we need to submit at a valid time. So now we'll do we'll do six. That's good to go. And now, with multi-tracking solved, if we take a look here at this name. Um, with module maneuvers, no spaces. It does not begin with one of these letters. It obviously has more than two vowels. Uh, and it uh, it does not contain a character that is special. So now what we can do here is with this, we have moved to the left one more time. 
negative three, zero. We are currently on the goal position. We can now hit the center button. And just like that is a solved module. And there we go. Let's go into one more example. Let's go into one more bomb. Hopefully we can get some nice mods here and a bit of a better example of setting instead of just going left once, the left three times rather. So let's take a look and let's see what we have here. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully we get lucky. Okay, good. These are actually defusible stuff. Good. <laughs> I was concerned we wouldn't get some defusible stuff. This is a not murder. Oh, wow. Okay. So now, oh, we actually get a really simple case here. So this is going to be us starting at zero, zero. And we need to get to zero, one. So all we simply need to do is we simply need to go up one. And let's take a look at what the arrows that we actually have here. So we have this one right here. It contains wire, summon, maze, or morse uh, for the left. Uh, we have this. We have the same uh, special character one again. Um, we have ends with a vowel. Okay. And this skinny one is right... where is it? Uh, it almost looks like that one, but I'm not quite sure. It might actually be it, but I want to say that it looks thinner. Hmm. Maybe it's, maybe it's just inaccurate with the manual, but... Starts with a vowel should be the solution here, as far as I'm aware. Um, let me just actually make sure on the logging itself. I'm, I'm, I want to make sure um, that that's actually correct. Um, yeah, okay, that doesn't help me. Uh, I guess it starts with the vowel. We can do stuff that starts with the vowel. Um, echo location would go up. Yeah, okay, so it is indeed start with it, starting with the vowel. Alright, good. Um, yep, yeah, okay, perfect. So that is indeed that. I don't know why it looks... It looks a little bit thinner on the mod, I guess, compared to the actual manual, but that's the way that that looks. So, what we need to do is we need to solve a module that starts with, we need to solve a module that starts with a vowel. Uh, and I can immediately point myself to a couple of modules here, and we can easily point ourselves, uh, and probably the best one that we actually have on this bomb here, is going to be integer trees. Because, from what I'm seeing, there is adjacent letters Russian, too, um, but integer trees is funny. Uh, and the rest of this module, uh, the only other ones that we can do are echolocation and adjacent letters Russian. Uh, and the rest of this bomb actually doesn't apply. Now we need to make sure that if we if we were to solve integer trees, that none of these other cases would apply. It does not end with the vowel because trees is plural here. Uh, it does not contain any special characters, and it is not one of these wire summon these or morse. So we're good to go. So now with integer trees, we need to simply solve this one. Integer trees. We have final answer of what? Um, gives 136, I believe is the answer. And there we go. And now, since we've moved up once, we can now submit this into the module. And that's all we simply need to do. Let's take a look at one final example. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of a chaotic example. That was quite a fairly simple one to do. But that's essentially what you need to do, is you want to take care of this very early on, so that it doesn't actually pose a threat later on. Um, it, it just is better to get it out of the way, uh, and there we go. So that's all we simply need to do. So let's take a look at one final example. Let's see what other chaos we can get on this bomb. We get a shuffle words. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right, so now we get to move in some different directions here. So now we're going to be moving. Uh, we're going to be trying to get to 1 and negative 1 from our current position here. We're currently at 0, 0. And the directions that we need to go here are going to be a bit interesting. So with one, we need to go either left or right. Uh, in this case, we're going to be going to the positive direction, so right. And we need to go down in this case for the negative one. We need to go down because down uh, in the Y position is going to be there. So all we simply need to do is hit right and down. Obviously, let's check out other cases that we have here. Um, condition for the top one contains the word the. We've had this one before. Ends with a vowel. Uh, this one is does not contain the letter E. That's going to be a bit interesting. And finally, contains wire, Simon, maze, or morse. And if we take a look around, um, we do have a maze module actually here. That is indeed important to know. We've got encrypted hangman, we've got a planet, which is looking quite funny. Um, uh, that's blocks, that doesn't count as a maze. Um, and I'm not seeing anything that actually would work for both of these conditions, actually. Um, or no, not both, not both of these conditions, both of these conditions. Um, because maze obviously would cause problems, um, and I believe that that's actually the only case where this condition applies is indeed actually shifting maze. 
So, um, as far as I'm seeing, yeah, that is that is it. It's, it's switching maze, rather. Sorry, shifting. Oh, no, no, no. Um, but yeah, the reason why switching maze does not count uh, for both of these guys is because it does contain the letter E at some point. So uh, we can't obviously get two uh, two conditions apply at the exact same time, uh, which would be quite nice, I would admit. Um, uh, but if we take a look here, uh, this would this would safely apply. This does not contain the word the. Um, ooh, very important to note down. If we were to solve shifting maze, it would take us down, but it would take us to the left. So we're going to have to do a couple things in order to actually prepare for this. Because this is the only case where we actually have to go down, so we actually need to figure out something else to actually solve here. Uh, it does indeed end with a vowel, which would take us to the left. We want right down, we don't want left down. So we're going to need to figure out some way how to get to two rights. Two more rights, rather. Um, so let's try and figure out what, exactly what we can do here. But first things first, let's start, and get, let's start off by getting Switching Maze done. It only applies to this one and this one, these two. It does not contain the word the, and it, and it does have the letter E in it. So let's go into Switching Maze. Um, switching Maze, if I can get it. There we go. Uh, now, I will need to get the initial position here. Uh, starting coordinate is 1, 2, destination is 4, 1, okay, so this is row within column, right? First pair, uh, first number is row, second is column, it's 0, 0, yep. Alright, so this is the pink maze, row 1, column 2, and our destination is row 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, column 1. Okay, so we can go down, so there we go, we can go left, okay, we're currently right here. Uh, in the green maze, so we're going to be um, right here, and we need to get to here. That makes sense. So now we got to go. Let's go right and left. Just kind of do a back and forth sort of deal. Okay, back to this is magenta. So we went right here, um, here, and here. Um, okay, let's go left. Left to brown. Okay. Uh, now brown is over here. And we're here and here. Oh, perfect. Down. And just like that, we're able to solve them all. Let's hit set. Let's start moving out. And that will take care of our first bit. Right? Now, bear in mind that we are going to be moving to the left and the down position. Just like that. There we go. So, it ended with a vowel because maze ends with a vowel. And we went down because this is where the down position is because we have maze. So, we went down. In this case, we went to negative one. And now we went to negative one. So we now need to go to the right. Um, we need to go, we now need to go to the right two times in order to get this thing figured out. So let's take a look and let's see what we can do here. So we need to find uh, we need to find things that contain that do not contain the letter e. And one of the things that immediately comes to my mind is blocks. Blocks is a simple one to actually do. But let me actually make sure it is the way that it's spelled. Logging. Does not contain the letter E. Yes, it actually does not contain the letter E either. I accidentally, I accidentally solved something. something. Um, it doesn't have the word the. It does not contain this. Uh, contain one of these guys. Uh, and it doesn't contain the letter E. And it doesn't end with a vowel. So in this case, we simply moved right one time, and we're at zero now. So all we simply need to do is we need, simply need to solve blocks, and then for and then we can therefore solve the module. So let's just simply get this thing going. Fairly simple enough. Um, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. So now that we've solved blocks, we've went, we've moved to the right one last time, and now we are currently at the exact same position that we want to be. Let's we'll hit the submit button, and just like that is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye